Welcome, everyone, to the Bob and John Sports Hour update show. Uh, we will be doing these from time to time. Bob may be putting one out himself. Uh, Andre, I don't know. He's not too tech savvy, but maybe he will. We don't know. Uh, but this is uh, me uh, wanting to get your guys' opinion uh, on an article that I saw the other day that got me shaking my head. Uh, I, I, it almost felt like I was stepping back into time, back to 2017, where I did the same thing. I shook my head, and I was just like, what the... And that, that is Derek Carr. Derek Carr uh, signing a three-year, $121 million extension with the Las Vegas Raiders. And uh, everybody knows my love-hate relationship with the Raiders and with Derek Carr. Uh, this contract also includes a no-trade clause uh, going through 2025, like anybody who wants to trade for Derek Carr. Uh, sorry, I'm going to try my best not to laugh during this uh, this update. Uh, update. Uh, Carr was scheduled to make about just under $20 million in base salary for 2022. Uh, but yeah, again, but let's not forget, back in 2017, he signed a five-year deal. For 125 million, at which at that time, guys, Derek Carr signed the richest contract in NFL history. Derek Carr uh, is Derek was Derek Carr back in 2017 worthy of being the highest paid quarterback and uh, highest not paid quarterback, but the highest paid person in the NFL. Uh, no, um, not at all. Uh, his new deal puts him right at the uh, 40 million. It's like 40 million point five per year uh, with the extension only, uh, which ranks him the fifth. Now he's the fifth highest paid quarterback in the NFL. Um, this coming off of, uh, you know, a year where he did set a career best. He had 4,800 yards passing. Uh, 23 touchdowns, uh, but let's not forget uh, the worst career, worst 14 picks, and he was sacked 40 times. Uh, let's take the sacking thing out of it. You know, that has a lot to do with protection, and uh, yeah, let's be honest, he didn't have very good protection, and 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 a lot of it has to do with the, you know, wide receivers uh, not running routes or not finishing routes or just stop running altogether, uh, Raiders. Uh, but, you know, to me, you know, to me, I, I, I see Derek Carr 20 years down the road when historians are talking about Derek Carr. I, I don't see them talking about, you know, I hope he wins a Super Bowl someday. I, I'm not going to shit on that. But I think they're going to say they're not going to talk about Derek Carr's uh, performance on the field. I think they're going to say Derek Carr is the luckiest quarterback in NFL history. Uh or, or Derek Carr had the best agent uh, in the NFL because, uh, seriously, I mean, is Derek Carr, you tell me in the comments, is Derek Carr the fifth best quarterback in the NFL right now? Is he the fifth best quarterback? Uh, that's how I look at it. You know, salary is based on performance, and I understand that. And uh, But is Derek Carr the fifth best quarterback in the NFL right now? I don't, I don't think so. And I get it. I, uh, I, you know, the NFL, you know, did the, you know, the Raiders. I'm not just the NFL, but the Raiders. I'm sure did the same thing a lot of teams did at the end of this season, and uh, the, especially teams that were looking for quarterbacks or making some changes, like the Niners with Garoppolo, and uh, shoot, Russell Wilson with Seattle and Rodgers as well. You know, he's the big ticket item. Like, uh, but you know, that door was shut, and uh, you know, the Raiders started looking at Russell Wilson and a couple other options, and. I think by the time all those doors were shut, they looked around and they said, you know, is there anybody else out there better than Derek Carr right now? And I think, you know, the Raiders said no, uh, which is probably true. I mean, the, the, this year's draft that's coming up is it's not very heavy on quarterbacks. It's pretty much going to be a offensive line and, and defensive uh, linemen and, and quarterbacks and stuff like that. I mean, that's where we're looking at for this draft. And I said, I think maybe the Raiders just said, you know, we're, we're stuck with them. We're stuck with Derek Carr. But to give him that kind of money, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe just they didn't have any options. Uh, give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think down below. Is Derek Carr the fifth best quarterback in the NFL? Does Derek Carr deserve a three-year extension at $121 million? Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll see you guys on Monday for the uh, Bob and John Sports Hour. Myself, Bob Sharp, and Andre Sala. Peace out, and we'll talk to you soon.